Holmium laser endobilotomy for bilvioretric junction obstruction. Bilvioretric junction obstruction is defined as a functional or anatomical obstruction to outflow of urine from the pelvis to the ureter. Etiologically, the cases are of two groups, primary or secondary. The exact cause of primary bilvioretic junction obstruction is unknown. The secondary causes are more common and are sequelae to bilolithotomy, previous attempts to repair of bilvioretic obstruction, or other causes. The treatment options available include open bailoblasty, laparoscopic repair, the acocyte device balloon cutary incision, and endobilotomy. Endobilotomy is a minimally invasive option for the management of bilvioretric junction obstruction. The urethroscope is advanced through the urethra to the bladder neck to the bladder and through the ureteric orifice through the ureter up to the bilvioretric junction guided with the guide wire previously inserted. This is the site of the bilvioretric obstruction and the ureteroscope is trying to manipulate the obstruction and pass to the renal pelvis. As you can see, it is very difficult to bypass the obstruction with the ureteroscope and if we push firmly the ureter may be perforated. Another guide wire is inserted through the ureteroscope working channel to guide the ureteroscope through the obstruction site but as you see it is very difficult to bypass the bilvioretic obstruction site with this ureteroscope This ureteroscope eventually was removed from the ureter and another smaller diameter ureteroscope was used. Now, using this smaller ureteroscope and guided with the guide wire inserted through the ureteroscope channel, we eventually bypassed the obstruction site to the renal pelvis.
This is the site of the Bellevue Rhetoric Junction obstruction after bypassed by the urethroscope. Now this is our laser fiber and we are starting the laser incision. As you can see we have to incise the bilvioretric junction at the dead lateral position. Now we are widening our laser incision through the wall of the ureter and the pelvis at the pelvic junction. We have to cut all the layers of the wall till we can see the Periurethral fat. This is the urethroscope up to the renal pelvis with extravasation of the dye from the incision. This is a very important sign of success for your laser incision. This is the picture of the pelvic junction before laser incision. And this is the picture of the pelvic junction three months after laser incision. Thank you for your attention.